Hey guys, I want to show you that Da Vinci's app that I use to put Maisie's tracing on the canvas. It's that app for the iPhone I was telling you about, and here is the video that I've been promising that I would make for you. Okay, so I've got my iPhone here. I've got my Da Vinci i app here. I'm going to click on it to enter the app, and I'm going to click on the plus draw sign in order to start a new drawing. So I'm going to click on that plus draw. I'm going to go into an album on my in my camera roll and find a picture that I'd like to use. I'm going to use a picture of my little dog Lily this time. So I'm going to go into the folder where her pictures are. And there she is. There's Lil. We're going to do this picture here. So then it brings you to the next screen. There's two choices, AR mode, classic mode. I choose classic mode to do mine. And there I have Lil's picture on the screen, sort of transparent. You can adjust the opacity here. If you want to make it a little more solid, I like to have it a little see-through so that I can place it on the canvas. So I've got it uh, a little bit above midway point. And now I am going to use, I have a little stand here to hold my camera. Uh, if you have something like that that you're using uh, to hold your can camera, it comes in real handy. I just got this off of Amazon for I think like $14. I know in the video uh, from Da Vinci Eye, they show you balancing it on a glass or something. I couldn't quite figure that out. But if you'd like to see that video is helpful. So if you're on the screen here and you've got your little tools uh, wording there but then next to it there's a little question mark if you click on that question mark you're going to come to a screen that will have a frequently asked questions st section in the watch the video so this is a little buried you might not have seen it it's handy to watch that video it's going to show you kind of what i'm doing here but uh, go ahead in and, and watch that uh, their customer service is pretty good there's a contact us button there so that's inside the drawing here it's that little question mark up in the corner here just click on that so I'm going to put my phone uh, in this little holder now, and I'm going to show you how I line up and trace the uh, photo. So I've got that in there, and um, you can move, you can use two fingers to make it larger and smaller, and this little move button here allows you to rotate or enlarge or decrease the size of the image you want to portray. You can see my canvas through that a little bit. So I can see my canvas there, but I want to move Lily so that she's centered on the canvas. I press the move button right there, and that gives me the ability to move her with one finger or make her smaller or bigger. I can turn and I can get the, the orientation the way I want. I want this on that horizontal um, orientation. I am just going to move the camera up a little so I can see the entire canvas. And now I'm going to just get Lily a little bigger. I want her a little bigger on that canvas. So see, I'm just going to use two fingers and I'm going to position her. Now, this is where the opacity button comes in handy because if you can't see the canvas through there very well, you could always um, decrease the opacity and get her really centered. And you can, I don't ever go up to be uh, the solid coverage. I want it kind of about halfway so I can see where I'm, what I'm doing with the canvas. I like for it to be right on the canvas there. She's covering most of it. I'll make her a little smaller because her ear is hanging off the edge. But you have to go ahead and press that move button in order to be able to move her a little bit. Click that move button off so that now that that image is not going to move. You can start tracing her. And I just use a pencil. And it's odd and it's a little getting used to because you are looking through your phone and then you are tracing with your hand. That's a little eye-hand coordination going on. But what's great is you can zoom in for details too. So I'm going to start, say I trace the outline. I get my pencil down and I'm just going to follow the photo. And you can go ahead and really enlarge it. It's not moving it on the canvas. It's going to right be in the right place. But if you want to, you can just enlarge it to get some details. It's kind of weird at first, but you do get the hang of it. I'll trace her eyes when this is kind of enlarged like that. You can look away from the phone, of course, and look at your canvas and see how, how far you've gotten, if you need to do other bits. And then you can just start tracing away. And her nose, while I have her enlarged like that, I'm going to trace her nose. Now it's not perfect but it will give you a good likeness. 
I wouldn't use this for traces for every painting. If we have a detailed landscape or something we're working on, I still like to have a tracer that I can just put the paper down and trace it. But something like this, you want to take a photograph, especially for pets or people, and you, or even maybe buildings. You don't want to spend a lot of time sketching and sketching to get the proportions right. This is a quicker way to get that. It's great because you can do it right on your phone. I also have Procreate, and that's another way I make my tracers. But if you do not have an iPad and an Apple Pencil and that whole thing, this is a handy way to do it. So now I want to get more of an image, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that a little smaller. But you can see I can move this any way I want, not changing it on my canvas. So I can still go ahead and finish the tracing. Top of her head. This, she has these great ears, aren't they great? All this little feathering. I like the scarf on her. I can really use this this um, method to get all those stripes in the right place. And again, the eye hand coordination, it, you get used to it, but it's really kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, um, so I don't know if anyone else gets the hang of with the glass, putting a glass and taping your phone to it. That didn't seem to work for me. I, and since I had these little holders, it's ideal. Like I said, you don't have to have a fancy, expensive stand. This little one, um, I will take uh, a video of it for you at the end. I'll move the camera over so you can see it. It's just a little inexpensive uh, clip-on for your table. And I love this where I can get all the little details for the stripes on here. Uh, let's see. Do I have everything? No, I don't have this bit of the scarf here to do. This bit, I want to get the lines. You can leave off things, you can add things, but this will at least get you started and get her on there. She looks like she's wearing a little winter jacket from my uh, tracings here, so let me just kind of get a guide on I'm going to look right at the canvas doing this a little bit. This is the one stripe, another stripe. And then we've got this stripe, this stripe, that. These are stripes over here. And so that is basically it. Let me um, take this. Let me take this camera off so you can kind of see the setup. I am going to, so you can see the little setup I'm working with here. And let me turn that camera around and you can see the tracing now. So it's a little rough, but it really does the trick. So if that helps a little bit, like I said, when you're inside the app, push on the little question mark and watch the Da Vinci Eye video as well. And if you have any questions, I, they have a frequently asked questions section. So there's quite a bit of information there. So let me, let me know how you like it.